everyone, my name is Maxime Chagno, and today I'm going to show you how we can tessellate a surface. So how we can transform a shape into a polygon based file or a STL. Okay, so as you can see here, I have two spline. I'm going to first make a shape with these two spline by using a sweep. Okay, as you can see, it's it's a very rough uh, shape, but it's basically like a wave-ish. Uh, so we have the shape here that is on generative shape design. And if we want to transform it to a STL, we need to switch to 3D printing app. Everyone has it normally. And we have the tessellation option here. So I will select the sweep here. And here you can select the sag or the vis visualization of the polygon. If we take very small like this one, apply, you will have a very accurate result. As you can see, we have an overlap between the sweep and the tessellate, and it's almost the same. Let me show you here. If we right click on properties, you can just display the triangles. And you can see how many triangles you, you have. So this file will be nice if you print it, but a bit heavy. So another way to do it. So I will just hide my sweep here and make another one. Let's put one millimeter. You will see the difference. Now we can see that they are still overlapping, but there is a big difference in the wave. As you can see here, we don't have the gap. We have a gap way too big between the STL and the, the, the shape. I can show you the number of triangle and you will see it's much smaller triangle and here it is you have less of course and we can see the difference now between the two files but let me show you if we put some lightning so we just switch to road as you can see here we don't have a smooth surface at all So here it is for today. Thank you very much. Goodbye.